women come from all different backgrounds and thought processes and I think we should support the freedom of choice, the freedom of speech. What? What? I can't, I can't, I can't do conservatives, guys. I can't, I can't do it. Do you know why I like arguing with people on the left more than people on the right? It's because people on the left are capable of putting their pants on without a fucking guide on how to do so. People on the left, even if they're absolute fucking brainlets, don't need IKEA-style assembly instructions when they make their grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh my god. We have to get our money's worth out of content from Jubilee ever since they baited me into flying down to Los Angeles for an in-person uh, panel that never ended up happening and they didn't tell me until after I booked the tickets. All right, folks. Do all feminists think the same? It's kind of a silly question, right? Pro probably not, I'm guessing. Um, it's my, my guess is- Hey. Oh, hi. Oh, cool. And also- Oh, oh my, oh my God, I'm learning so much already. Is this a feminist? All right, so for you, it is the ability to create life, and that's basically what makes you a woman. Femininity and womanhood is so much more than just, you know, getting dressed up and putting on makeup and just the way I feel. It's, it's who I am on a biological level. The worst thing TERFs ever did was let trad wives rebrand themselves as feminists, you know? Like, for hundreds of years, the idea that, like, femininity is special because it allows you to procreate, like, that's been a thing for literally millennia, and now people are like, oh, so that was feminism all along. Believing that womanhood is when you are a, a, a brood spawn for men. Ah, ah, there we are. That's, that's, that's what feminism is. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's go. Also, look at this setup. We got the RBG lighting. Are we in the inside of one of those graphics cards that I can't afford because I want to upgrade my computer? I'm going to make myself larger here because I, I'm going to make myself real big, actually, uh, because I am not a feminist and I love taking up space uh, in women's discussions. Men can be feminist. Oh. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's nice. I mean, I'm wearing a hoodie. That says yeah, I was expecting some people to go to disagree, but that, you know, okay. What are you, okay. Men can be feminists too. I feel like I have to be over here. I think most men that are feminists hey. are like usually either lazy, virtue signaling, just want to see tits or access to easy sex. I think it depends. True. That's why I became a feminist. All right. Hey lads, if you're in college and you're having trouble, if you're having trouble getting, getting, getting up and in, okay, here's, here's a hot tip. All right. You should, like, treat the people you want to fuck with a modicum of respect, which is pretty well informed by feminism. That's actually super helpful. It's such a cheat code, you know? Like, normally, when you have a conversation with a woman, you know, you do the natural thing, which is, like, you say, like, hey, what's up, how you doing? And then you just don't listen to anything she says in response. And because you already have your next pickup line, like, set up, you know? And look at her tits the whole time. Um... But, uh, but, 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 but instead you could like, in it talk, like, like, like talk a little bit. Um, and it's actually super helpful. <laughs> it's actually, it's, oh God, it's, it's not even fair how, how, how easy it is to get pussy if you just listen. On your definition of feminism, like modern day feminism, I would say yes. Like traditional feminism. Traditional. Like that's her. She's, we, we have a fucking milk maiden from the 18th century here to, to talk about traditional for, you know, traditional femininity and non-discrimination in the workplace. Like, I think those things men can agree with. I see what you're saying when you're like, there's this performative feminism that a lot of guys do. So if a male feminist is like, uh, women oh, do I it only too. support like women and it's just only about that, but he's not even talking about- Wait, I'm sorry, one second, hold on. Is this bitch talking about traditional femininity while wearing fucking glossy pink Barbie pumps? What are those, six inches? We were only looking at her from the waist up, so I was thinking like, all right, you know, she's ready to go to a, a upper, you know, like a like an expensive restaurant, but she's wearing goddamn dick sucking shoes right now. Hey, I stay. I'm here for. It. Don't I support fully anyone wearing those, guys, girls. I don't care. You know, I just think it's funny. 
oh, I only support like women and it's just only about that, but he's not even talking about how like feminism needs to support men or like trans people or whatever, then there- That white girl is an important person in TPUSA. Oh, really? The, the, the one that we're talking about, she's in TPUSA? That would fit. Yeah, that'd fit. Wait, she's called pro-life Barbie? Was I, was I on the money with the Barbie thing? Oh my God. Yep, pro-life Barbie. There you go. Walking political scandal. This is, I assume, a, a, a Bible lyric. Is this, is this really a feminist? Does this, does this person post about feminism that much? Oh, God, I hate the meme formats. I can't do them. I'm sorry. It's literally just all abortion stuff. It's all anti-abortion stuff. I gotta say, man, I cannot... I Listen, okay, I just want all human birth to be done in fucking Petri dishes, okay? So we can be done with this. I'm so tired of pregnancy, and I'm tired of abortion. I'm tired with this whole goddamn discourse, okay? Listen, all right? Much in the same way that anal sex is the most egalitarian way of having sex, uh, having Petri dish children is going to be the most egalitarian way of, of, of having children, okay? We need to move past. We need to overcome. We need to evolve. Petri dish? P P Petri dish, you know, the, the, the things. There is a performativeness to it. White feminist voices are too loud. Three, Wait. two, one. Wait, we're stacking the deck a little bit here, okay? Because a person who thinks all feminist voices are too loud would still say yes here, right? Like, misogynist walks in and he goes to the full, like, the strongly agree section, you know? Like, yeah, white, white feminists and the other ones, too. Shut up. <laughs> Go. I somewhat agree, like, that white feminist voices are too loud, but then I think that they become really good at using black women or black faces when they want to, you know, push their movement further. I, I agree that it's probably not balanced, and I think it probably needs to be more equal. I guess the reason why I'm at somewhat disagree is just because I'm hesitant to say that anyone speaking up for their views is too loud. I think that's fine, and I can definitely see what you're saying. I just You think she applies that standard to pro-choice activists? I just hate like when some of these movements use black women when it's convenient for them. There's not discussion about the Latinas, immigrants, how they're getting treated on the feminist movement. You know, it's always about either the pro-choice pro -choice side or, or, or something else that it's more interesting to white. When you think of feminism, you usually think of a white lady. Um, and I think that's still perpetuated even though there'd be like a lot of black women behind them. who do i think of when i think feminist i i don't think i think i think of a video game character who am i thinking who am i thinking of big red no i didn't consume much skeptic media back then quiet from, from metal gear solid no no uh no actually Angela Davis. well angela davis is great anyway i guess i don't really think of yeah i don't know if i really think of anyone i guess I think of, because I did reading, I did reading on this in university, right? The idea that feminism is like too white or whatever is totally true. So true. If you're mostly talking about the second wave, because second wave feminism was basically, and I'm simplifying a little bit here, a bunch of upper middle class white women realizing that they could have more like social independence with birth control, because then fucking around wouldn't instantly mean that they would get pregnant. And they were like, all right. We're, it's time. Fuck all the other minorities or whatever. We're doing our shit. And second wave feminism was pretty goddamn white. It was pretty upper middle class. It was pretty white. Like there was cool shit there, but like, I don't know. It was, it was kind of honky town. It was kind of, it was kind of a cracker barrel. Third wave feminism is mostly about intersectionality though. So some of those problems have been addressed, but they're still kind of there. I mean, really. There's a re by the way, there's a reason why TERFs are overwhelmingly white. And it's because a lot of them are holdovers from second wave feminism, which was also overwhelmingly white. You know, I, I, I genuinely don't know if I could name a black turf. 
I actually, I'm sure there are some. I don't think I can think of any though. In the scenes doing a lot of the heavy lifting and often are in a lot of civil rights movements. Oh, you'll see. Oh no. Oh God. Oh really? Here? Really? As other people, but they're just always taken more seriously. Not the blurfs. Everyone. I'll read off a list of public figures and you'll go to your left if you believe the person to be a feminist or the right if you don't think they're a feminist. Kim Bosh. Kardashian. I wouldn't say that she isn't a feminist. I don't feminist. know anything about I, Kim I, I Kardashian. I don't think that's her number one thing. She went from doing her show and the whole like sex scandal thing to like, you know, now she's working in law and civil rights and she's done the whole family thing. Ultimately, I think that Kim Kardashian is a woman that has like done what she's wanted to do. Is that... Is that... Is that femi feminism is an ideology. Being ultra wealthy and doing whatever you want is just what ultra wealthy people. All right. Yeah, she, maybe she's a girl boss, but that's not necessarily being a feminist. Amy Coney Barrett. Really? Amy Coney Barrett, in my opinion, is like the epitome of a feminist. She's literally like a Supreme Court justice in like the highest court of the land. And okay, we're just we're just operating with like a femi feminism is when a woman. Okay. Was Margaret Thatcher a feminist? Was was Queen Victoria a feminist? Is Queen is Queen Elizabeth a feminist? Yeah, why not? Sure. Okay. Prepare for 10 more minutes of this. We need to get these Listen, if we want a good feminism panel, we need to get these dumb bitches out of here, all right? We need to get some men up in there. Get get away from my hot takes, all right? Uh do you believe Mary Wollstonecraft was a feminist. And then I go over to no, and I spend 15 minutes screaming about how she was like a, you know, like a reactionary revisionist. And she totally disproves the narrative that women have to choose between having a career and a family. I, I don't really agree with her a lot on her political stances, but I think more so as just being a role model for women. I'm going to kill myself. Wow, this is literally liberal girl boss shit. Oh my God. This is literally just liberal, like, oh, like, wow, girl, fe feminism is when girl drone pilot. Fe fe <laughs> and to be on a line Rand. Sport where it's primarily dominated by men. J.K. Rowling. Please. Yeah, I know. Three I know. Ago, I would have said yes, and there's still a lot of reasons I would. She was a single mom. She wrote all the books. She where did they get these people? The reason I would say kind of no now is her just kind of weird anti-trans zealotry she's gotten involved in that kind of undercuts a lot of her other feminist stuff. I mean, I disagree. I agree with, with, with what they said. I don't know their identity. I agree that just for the fact that she expresses her own opinions and now people like literally crucified her and- All okay. right. Ah, I see why people wanted me to watch this. Why do people always do this shit, man? I don't see, like, why just, like, saying your opinions about something means that th people think, believe th things that they have, things that they believe. What the fuck are you talking- Actually, your opinions are very relevant when it comes to your ideology. And really want to like put her under and undermine everything she has done, you know? It's just she has such a big platform that when you're talking like this very extreme stuff about a marginalized group, that's really the issue. Why should women like with a platform be forced to align with the mainstream narrative of what it means to be a woman and a feminist? Like, why can't. Wait! Align with the mainstream narrative of what to be. Wait, I'm sorry. Was Adolf Hitler a feminist? Guys, the jury's out on this one. Why would what what a daring and unconventional uh, at, like uh, you know approach towards feminism Adolf Hitler must have taken? What what wait, what 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 do you do, do? These words have any definition at all? Any whatsoever? What? Uh, why why should we have to expect a woman to think things that are in line with the things that one would think if we were the thing she's saying that she is? I don't know, man. I don't know. That's crazy. Her own personal journey be... Wait, she's a right-winger as well? Okay, Jubilee, I know you're looking for conflict, but if half the people in this on this platform are conservatives... YouTuber. Oh, of course. 
freedom advocate promoting Second Amendment for us black women everywhere. Yep. No, no wonder we're getting this whole, uh, no wonder we're getting this whole, uh, you know, feminism is when women does things because they, they approach these people and call them feminists when it's like, oh, wh why are you, well, I'm breaking ground by being a feminist anti-abortion advocate and I'm breaking ground or sorry, by being a woman anti-abortion advocate, I'm breaking ground by being a woman second amendment advocate. Okay. I mean, that doesn't really have much to do with ideology, but all right, we got to find the YouTube channel. Okay, did we really need this? Did we really need this website? Like, did we... Instagram fact checkers censor Haitian border store. <laughs> Mask paranoia shit. The gatekeepers come for Nicki Minaj. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah, it's always... Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's always... It's always the same. Enough. It's... It it really comes down to not that it's an opinion, it's that she's spreading a lot of dangerous misinformation. But based on what, though? Because you don't agree with it? No, it's scientific facts. Like, she's just talking about stuff that's incorrect. And her ideas about trans men have affected legislation that harms trans men getting uh -huh. the resources they need. Trans women... Oh, that, that was a good pushback right there. That was good. They gave him the, they gave him the last word, too. That was good. Yeah, beat, beat that ass, Leon. Fuck him up. In our women. Oh, God. Why? I don't know. Man. I don't. I don't. Wanna. Okay. Three. Yeah, two, they're, yeah they're all one, like, all right, go. time to start shit. Yep. Yep. We well, you know. Yep, 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 yep. There we're we all go. Just positioned here based on our political um, beliefs and as for how we see. Um, the LGBTQ. I mean, I think it's also split between, I mean, all the men are on this, that side. Wait, did they literally just get the fu- Damn, women really do fucking suck. Holy shit, bitches are terrible. Hey, who- Alright, agree or disagree, shit tastes good, and all the women are fucking sprinting over there. Agree or disagree, you have bad taste in dating partners, and also you compensate for not having a personality by laughing too loud when other people tell jokes and all the women sprint over into the strongly agree corner. And all the women are on this side. I know, being a woman, that there are certain things that we have to deal with as women that people who are not, you know, biologically women don't have to deal with. I mean, we have to, like, deal with having our periods and go through that really awkward stage when we're 13, and people who are, you know, trans women don't have to go through that. Trans women live their entire lives. So obviously the rebuttal to this is that A, there are cisgender women who don't experience periods. So there's that. Um, and B, is that the definition of a woman? Like what, what, what like what, of what relevance is that? Like, doesn't, that, that's not how you, that's not how you define like group categories. Well, this one group tends to have one thing, but the other group doesn't have the other thing. Therefore they can't be the same. Well, okay. By what? Definition? Lives as women. They don't turn it off. It's not something that they're turning off and then to come up to them and say, <laughs> oh yeah, I see you're doing this, but you're not a woman. You know, it's kind of how, how do you live your life as a woman? Because so, every single time so, somebody says that, it's, they, they name the most stereotypical things. It's like putting on a dress, putting on makeup. It's biological. I was so born... The funny thing is, like, they were just celebrating the feminist tendencies, apparently, of Kim Kardashian. Does Kim Kardashian live the life of an ordinary woman? I'm pretty sure there's more of a similarity between a trans woman and a cis woman than any woman anywhere who makes less than a hundred thousand, sorry, a hundred million dollars every year. And Kim Kardashian, she li she lives like a fucking European monarch, you know? She she has like a ten, like cert, like what what does that mean lives like what so if so if there's like a woman so like here's the thing lives like a woman okay what about like Mulan situations what about cisgender women who due to well whatever reason you can imagine it being wartime struggles to avoid being raped or like wanting to join the military or any number of things live their lives as men despite identifying as women privately and it being a discuss so because they don't change their shit like does that are they not well, yeah, what about Joan of Arc? Was Joan of Arc putting on six-inch pumps? All it is, is I, can't, I can't be a man. So I can't be a man no matter how much I try. Yeah, you're not cool enough. And it's just 
you know, chromosomes and that's it. Are the differences just chromosomes, just having children? That's like so hurtful and discriminatory against what? women because what? femininity and womanhood wait, is- Wait, what, 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 what you were saying, wait, what? You were saying that, what? So much more than just, you know, getting dressed up and putting on makeup and just what? the way I feel. It's wait, 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 what? Wait. It's just chromosomes, just, you know, chromosomes and that's it. Are the differences just chromosomes, just having children? That's like so hurtful and discriminatory against women because femininity and womanhood oh, is she's so phrasing much what they more say. than just, you know, getting dressed up and putting on makeup and just the way I feel. It's, it's okay. She's, she's, she's reframing their argument. Essentially. She's saying, oh, you really believe that they're just chromosomes? Well, chromosomes are very important to me. That's what she's saying. Who I am on a biological level. Right. So for you, it is the, the ability to create life. Biological level. And that's basically what makes you a woman. What makes you a man? Or would you consider yourself a man? I probably should. Yeah, I, I'm a, I, I was born a man. I behave as a man. I carry so myself society as a man. So what would I have to do to be a man, a man like you? So, I want to be a so, man now. So we, we can both identify agree that our society has... Just say identify as what? You shouldn't... This is not the time for explanation. This is the time for the drop, okay? You identify as one. Things that men generally do, things that women generally do, right? If you start to fall on one side of the spectrum versus the other side of the spectrum, then you're going to be treated as that gender. I think it's a little obscure. I don't necessarily... Well, this is more of the performativity theory of gender, which, depending on whether you're talking about if you are something versus whether you're being treated as something, if he's talking exclusively about being treated as something, then he's kind of correct uh, in broader society. But in terms of this point, the better argument here is one of identity. I'm scared that we're looking at it as such a basic requirement, more so that, I mean, humans are much more evolved than any other animal. So why are we still using just the requirement of, well, if that person has a penis, he's a male, or that person has a vagina, they're a female. I think you're a masculine woman or a feminine man. That doesn't make you that gender. And to try to like deny just basic biological facts, we all learn this in high school. Like let's stop acting like it's something new and different now because it's like- then, then why do medical and biological institutions all recognize the existence of trans people in like developed societies? This, oh, we all learn, do you, do, you, do you think like psychiatric and medical institutions like forgot their fucking elementary school bio club or something? <laughs> Well, the, again, the deference, the, the deference to sex and biology and so on and so forth here is and always will be their, like, default 18 IQ response, because uh, they can't engage with the social arguments here. Like the hip thing to say. I think there's like a lot of conflating of being female versus being a woman. Being female is chromosomal, it's what you're born as. Being a woman is a societal construct. They can align, like, Yours obviously all align. Um, like you pointed over here, you're like all the men over here. The first 30 years of my life, I was a woman. I transitioned. It's a disconnect with who, what you're born as and what you feel you should so be. So gender dysphoria? Yes. Okay, I can believe it. I 100% could believe it, yeah. If it was just- Fucking pussy. What a bitch ass coward. You know what she's doing right now? She's realizing that Leon's arguments are too good to deal with directly. So what she's doing right now is making a public argument and a private argument. It looks publicly like she's walking back, but she's not. Because in her mind, gender dysphoria just means, oh, so Leon is a mentally ill woman. That's what she's thinking in her head right now. And that's what conservatives will read this as. But to us, we read that as backing off because she seems conciliatory. In her mind, she holds the exact same position. She's like, oh, it's the mental illness that makes you think you're the other one like I just wanted to be a masculine woman then sure that's easy to do but that didn't work I'm not gonna say I'm male I wasn't born with XY Leon's that'll killing never it. change and no trans person will ever tell you they're biologically born that way because if anyone knows anything about biology it's trans people that's why they have to get hormones and do all this other stuff and it doesn't take away your womanhood if someone else is a different type of woman. It's a different experience that shouldn't make you feel less of a woman if they're around or vice versa. Actually, wait, I disagree. I actually think TERFs are the most authentic women out there, all right? 
because having the audacity and like self-centered nature to believe that your womanhood is being invalidated because there are other women with different like experiences is the most stereotypically womanly thing a person could ever possibly fucking do. Holy shit. You are truly you are truly epitomizing. You are at the the apex of fucking 4chan green text misogyny posting uh uh behavior. If you're like, "Oh, so people can be women and also not be exactly like me. This hurts me somehow. Do you all feel like the feminist movement should be fighting for trans women um, within that movement? I mean, it should be fighting for everyone's genders, whether they're trans women, trans men, cis women, cis men, or non-binary people. That's just part of feminism. I don't think so. I think it we needs know. the entire movement. Every feminist should be pro-choice. Oh, wow. I, wow. I, I, I wonder what we're going to get from this one. <laughs> Let's go. Three. I look at, look at her fucking smile. Too. She, yeah, you, you, you know, you know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I'm not blaming her. This isn't on her or whatever. But, like, can you imagine if I went to a panel on race relations and the, the thing, like, I believe white people should be able to say the N-word. Left unstrongly agree, right unstrongly disagree. Three, two, and you, you know that if the camera was on me at that moment, I'd be like, um. You know. <laughs> two, one, one, go. I consider myself to be a pro-life feminist, we know. and I think that the idea that um, we can yeah. tell women oh, the that they can't identify as feminist the hate. unless they say that they're pro-choice goes totally against everything that feminism stands for. Wait, feminism stands for, for having the state force people to bring children to term? Pro-choice doesn't mean forced abortions, it just means pro-choice. What? I agree with that, and I think there's actually something that's beautiful about womanhood and women in general, and something that kind of shows ways that modern feminism has kind of- WAIT! I totally forgot, I'm so stupid. I got an email from Leon six days ago, when he, when he learned that I was going to be going over this. We should talk to Leon. I gotta respond to that. Wait, hold on. Hel hello, I am stupid. We are watching your video and you are poggers. No, that's poffers. Poggers, would you like to set a time to come on sometime in the near future. You're doing great, Fosh. Thank you. Kind of been a little exclusionary because women come from all different backgrounds and thought processes, and I think we should support the freedom of choice, the freedom of speech. What? What? I can't, I can't, I can't do conservatives, guys. I can't, I can't do it. Do you know why I like arguing with people on the left more than people on the right? It's because people on the left are capable of putting their pants on without a fucking guide on how to do so. People, people on the left, even if they're absolute fucking brainlets, don't need Ikea-style, like, it, like, assembly instructions when they make their grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh my god. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's regardless of the lifestyle that that woman wants to choose. If you personally feel what you're pro-life, that's fine. Feminism as a movement should be pro-choice to allow anyone to choose whatever path they want to have, whether they want to have children or not have children or have abortions or whatever. But if feminism is pro-life, then you've blocked one group of Leon people is from Atlas. choosing Holy whether shit. they want to have Carrying abortions or their own family planning. One of the pushbacks that I would just love to give is I believe that abortion is wildly discriminatory. Against black people. I'm very concerned about black people. Do you think she's going to look at the black lady when she says this? I pray to God that she does. Not, 
they, whenever this talking point comes up, I know that internally they're grinning like from ear to ear because they know they don't give a fuck about black people. No, just women? Oh, they're just going to say women? Ah, okay. The common conservative talking point is that it's discriminatory against black women because black women per capita get more abortions than white women or whatever. Against women and against people with disabilities, baby girls are aborted at a higher rate, which is so sexist. And so I truly don't think that you can be a feminist. Couldn't you fix that by... Wait, for... wait, hold on, wait. Is that true in America? I know that historically that's been true in countries where people like work the fields because you want like beefy boys to pop out or whatever. But in America, I don't. I think that's globally. OK, but like. Adjusted for where? Like because China has enough people that it would be able to slant like every other country statistics. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's the case here necessarily. We're talking about abortion rights here in the, in, in the, in the States who is pro-choice, because these are discriminatory practices. So I am pro-choice. Um, I feel like somebody should have what... Also, that's not what a discriminatory practice is. Uh, a discriminatory practice is when a thing is done disproportionately to different groups, not when people have the freedom to do a thing, and then that thing is done disproportionately. That would be like saying that, like... Uh, that, that 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 would be like saying that it's it's a discriminatory practice to be able to like hit people because black people are more often the victims of violent crime like th that's ridiculous now you can say of course that um you know hate crimes are biased against certain groups but you're you're drawing that back an extra level to the point that you're abstracting it beyond usefulness yeah that that would be like saying that doing drug oh the funny thing is by the way that if she subscribed to that logic then she would have to agree with the idea that the drug war is racist because um uh, 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 incriminating uh, drug use has had vastly disproportionate consequences for people of color. Um, of course, you can make that argument without relying on the abstraction that she uses. You can do so using, you know, systemic analysis as opposed to just like, if it happens more in one direction, that means it's biased, but still for her logic, right? Whatever type of choice that they want to make, they should have an equal say as far as, hey, this is my body. I want to be able to have an abortion or just as equally, I want to say, I'm going to have this baby. So, um, and I do believe it's 100% up to the woman. A feminist should probably... Yeah, most abortions are done before people even know the sex of the baby. Now, it is true that um, abortions are often done for kids who have certain discernible disabilities, like, say, Down syndrome. And this is obviously a very touchy subject. But A, first of all, the fact that people disproportionately choose to engage in abortions if their child might come out disabled is not an argument against people having the freedom to engage in abortion at all. And secondly, like, this is a really touchy subject, but weaponizing this situation against the right to have an abortion at all is the absolute pinnacle of like dirty dishonest politics they're not actually related to each other um it's just something like it's it's just like a an, an adjacent talking point that's weaponized in service of the real thing oh no tempest like they brought on a lot of conservatives here they're clearly looking for drama bait um yeah, the, uh, uh, the, the, all <laughs> the women seem to be fairly conservative. I don't know anything about the, 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 the Hispanic woman, um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's happening in the U.S., but with immigrants, then it seems like social liberalization is the thing that fixes that for the most part, um, you know, and living in a fully industrialized country. Be more aligned with giving someone their own choice. Menstrual products should be free. All right, get ready for three. Some dumbass two, shit. I'm guessing. One, go. Yep, I knew she. Yep, yep. Oh wow. Being oh, able to yep. Provide, um, for example, on the low-income school. You know, there's a lot of girls that cannot afford them. You know, and they're ashamed to ask for it. I mean, I, I personally believe that anything. That wait, wait. I'm sorry. Did I get this reversed? Oh, no, 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 I didn't. Okay, okay, no, I didn't. Okay, yeah, all right. I thought the agree was on, okay. Yeah. Provide, okay. Um, for example, on the low-income school, you know, there's a lot of girls that cannot afford Yeah, them. it's almost like you they're know, just conservative. To ask for it. I mean, I, I personally believe that anything that you didn't, yeah, I guess, ask yeah, for, like, like the stream, cycles, or you fuckers. Even, I mean, if we get into healthcare, I think that's, that should be all be added on. I believe that everyone should be compensated for their labor, and I believe that What about fully compensated for their labor? You know, slaves were compensated in housing and food. What about full compensation? 
creating and producing menstrual products, it's a service and that people should get paid. Wait, th wait, does this dumb bitch think that that means that the government would literally just fucking rob menstrual pad factories and like, <laughs> and like no one would get paid that day? What? Um, what? Jesus Christ. Okay, listen, I'm a feminist except for her. She should probably not be able to open a bank account. All right. We, are we all in agreement? Okay, I, listen, I'm enacting feminism, but with exceptions, all right? She should probably be held to 14th century gender standards, okay? She can wash clothing against, like, a sort of corrugated iron board and raise 18 children for all I care, okay? And she can't vote. This is what I call super feminism. Oh, she would love it. This is, this is, this is what she wants. Yeah, a washboard, exactly. Well, nobody's saying that they won't get paid because, like you said, Yeah, because yeah, that's woman. dumb. You didn't ask to have periods, so now you have to go out and pay taxes on, you know, you have to pay more taxes than exactly. I do. All right, here we go. Yeah, here's the pro-life Barbie with Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> Great. Because I don't have to buy you don't have to tampons, buy tampons or yeah. whatever, yeah. Is this like a pandemic of women, like, bleeding through their clothes or something? Because I've worked with low-income Hey, guys, it's almost like they actually kind of don't give a fuck about women. <laughs> oh, God. Families. This is never an issue I've ever heard other than on social media. Now, are there what? instances... What? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I am the cissest guy, and I have absolutely heard about that. Wait, 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 wait. What? It's an essential medical product. It's, it's a set. There's nothing you can... You can't... You can't like make decisions around needing pads or tampons. You need if if you can ha if you have periods, it's just a thing that you need, or you have sanitary problems. And by the way, you know, people always retort to this. People are always like, "Uh, well, where does it end, dude? Should we like make it free to get Q-tips and toilet paper and other?" Yes, obviously. What? Yeah, of course, dumbass. Uh, what if you? Uh, what is? Where does it end, dude? What if? What if you make band aids free? Good. I hope they. I hope they make them cost negative money. I hope that you get paid for every carton of band aids you get to take out of the store. Absolutely, I do. Yeah. Where do, Where does it? End? Where, you, making it so people can get things people need. Why should that be a part of modern civilized society? I don't know. <laughs> Or may there be segments in people's lives where they need, like, like things, or they need help, or they need the community to get behind them? What? Absolutely. But what? I don't think it's this huge crisis that everybody is making it out to be. I just have not... No notice how she's not actually arguing against the point. She's strawmanning her opposition as a way of making them seem unreasonable without addressing the actual talking point. She's not, she's, she's not actually saying that they shouldn't do it. She's just saying, like, it's not a big deal. Okay, so say it's not a big deal. Let's do it anyway. Talk, talk about the actual point. She strongly disagrees, so she apparently thinks it's a big deal. Seen it. Every woman should be a feminist. Three, two, one. I'm, I'm ready for it, okay? The talking point is going to be, uh, feminism is about letting women do what they want, except for abortion or voting Democrat. And uh, uh, they should be not a feminist if they don't want to be. One, go. We know, we know, yep, well, we know, thank you, we know. Once again, I feel like that kind of goes against everything that feminism stands for yep. by saying that a woman has to think a certain way. Every woman should be a feminist instead of every woman has to be a feminist. It's kind of why I went to the strongly agree. Yes, you should be a feminist if you're a woman because you should want equal rights. Going back, I think people have really misinterpreted the, the word feminism, you know, but most women should be feminist, but they are. I think to me they are. I don't know any woman that it's not a feminist. But they then what the fuck is the point of the label? What? You don't know any does does feminist just mean you're a woman? What what, what 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 does that mean? Like oh wow, what a radical political movement that just happens to include everyone already. How what how cucked is that? They don't call themselves it because of the extreme feminism. Like for ah, example, ah. I like to serve my husband. You know that's something I like. That doesn't make me not a feminist. That Shoe, pull your earbuds out. Okay, we're gonna have to say some words about trad wives. Okay, listen. All right. Folks, you guys need to understand, all right? 
If you want to be a trad wife, okay? If you want to if you want to fucking order, if you need to order a new pair of knee pads every month because of all the time you spend sucking your husband's dick, okay? That is your god that's your god-given right. But for fuck's sake, stop with the pick me shit. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody cares. Nobody fucking cares, especially when you're talking about fem nobody cares. People are always like these these feminists, these crazy feminists are telling me that I can't suck my husband dick. No, they're not. The people who were saying that were the political lesbians of the 1960s, and that was second wave feminism. They're all dead now. They were like 45 back then, and now they're all dead. Do you know do you know what modern day feminists spend their day doing? Sucking dick overwhelmingly. Cancel me. They do. Find a feminist. They love dick. And some of them like pussy. Is that a girl dick, guy dick? This isn't a gender thing. They just like dick. They like sucking dick. They don't care. So people are like, uh, these crazy feminists are, they, they don't respect my traditional servile identity. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's who I am. He likes to do other things like change my tires. I will never do that. That's not to me. I'm not a feminist. Okay. And that is okay. officially a wrap, you guys. That oh, is wow. true. But. You can't put it. All right. Oh, that was good. Good discourse here, folks. Not to be nice and misogynistic. Um, I feel like Jubilee is optimized for content, not quality here. This, this one in particular was, was, was particularly uh, bad. Um, but yeah. Uh, no, we, we, we need to talk to Leon sometime in the near future. Oh, hold on. We have the Instagram of the <sighs> pro-life. Really? They got three women for the feminist panel, and all of them were pro-life. And that was, like, their thing. No, oh, well, we have wacky memes. Damn, is this bitch using, like, the face tuning shit, or is the upper half of her face just 20 years younger than the lower half of her face? She looks like 40 when there's no mask on, but when she puts the mask on, this looks like a 20-year-old selfie or something. Is it a Snapchat filter? That shit's cheating, man. Sexism? There's nothing wrong with looking 40. 40-year-old women are hot. She's in a crowd with a bunch of patriotic gear. Check this. She was in January 6th. Uh, yeah, I'm sure she's a, I don't know, some fucking QAnon. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Rhonda's an anti-vaxxer, by the way. People in my comments pretending New York City restaurants are imposing vax passports just because actual America. Yeah, yeah. All right. 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 You know, that, um, that conversation the whole Jubilee thing reminded me of when I was talking to Blair White about how you should accept non-binary people. And Blair White was like, I just think it's funny how like a cis guy is telling me this. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I hate, I, 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 don't, I, hate, I love it when they do the, the id bullshit, man. It's so fucking good. You were not mean enough to Blair. Oh, I would have been incredibly mean to Blair if we'd had that conversation now. Back then, I thought she was just like misguided conservative leaning, but like obviously, obviously my opinion has in the past dozen or so times I've done videos on her, uh, uh, you know, soured a little bit. Um, it's just funny how a trans girl is a transphobe. You can't be a member of a minority group in the right, the modern right, unless you're specifically against that minority group. Black conservatives are told or of their own volition, just do anyway. They spend their time arguing how BLM has gone too far and blah, blah, blah. You know, active black women, uh, sorry, not black women, uh, active women are always talking about how, like, you know, feminism's gone too far. Trans people like Blair White, blah, 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 blah. blah. Always the whole thing. Um, you know, when they're, when they're, you know, the conservative bit. Ann Coulter was against women's suffrage, wasn't she? Ann Coulter, I feel like, might, I think Ann Coulter, hasn't she dropped, like, crypto-Nazi shit in the past? Ann Coulter might, might actually be the LML. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. She's basically a white nationalist. You mean Ann Coulter? Ann Coulter? Yeah, it's, it's important to remember, right? There are so many, like, bad ideological roots that people want to forget, you know? Like, Obviously, we had slavery like 150 years ago, but 
Nazism was pretty popular in America back before World War II. Like, Nazis got a lot of their shit from us. And the popularity continued until we stamped it out as part of the wartime effort. And then it basically just went underground. And then after the war, a bunch of people who were, like, with the Nazis before the war suddenly stopped being with the Nazis and started being with, like, the Jim Crow laws, you know? It's really funny. You know that meme in The Simpsons where Homer, like, disappears into the bush and then comes back out, like, wearing different clothing? The Nazis have done this, like, three times, dude, right? They had, you had, like, the, con the you had, like, the Confederates and, like, the scientific racists, like, v v and, like, they were with the Nazi party, and then they, v v and they were just, like, Jim Crow, like, anti- uh, you know, integrationist, like segregationist types or whatever. And then like after the uh, Civil Rights Act, they voo voo and now they're all just like, you know, uh, fiscally responsible conservatives who also believe in expending billions of dollars on the police in order to crack down on the drug war. So it's, it's uh, really, it's the same group of people. And honest to God, in my heart of hearts, I really do think a ton of those bloviating fucks in Washington secretly do just honestly just agree with Hitler and a lot of stuff. I don't think that's an exaggeration. I don't know why it would be. We're less than a hundred years out, less than just a few generations out from Nazism being super popular in this country. I don't know why you'd think that would just go... People people always think it just goes away. Like, oh, that only happened 50 years ago. 50 years... You, you can... You could have been an adult then and still be an adult now. You know? That's not... <laughs> uh, uh. I'm Ted Cruz. Uh, uh, Nazis had a point. Uh, uh, I'm Mitch McConnell. Uh, uh, Nazis had a point. Uh, uh, I'm Donald Trump. Uh, uh, the Nazis had a point, but also I think too highly of myself for me to dedicate my person to another ideology which indicates there aren't any components of our person which are greater than myself. Bars. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Eminem was at the uh, halftime show, so they had to bring me out. You know, I was going to have him here, but he was busy.